Sugar Muffin, good boy. Hello, today I'm going to review the new Aveeno Common Restore T Triple Oat Serum. Lincoln was supposed to help me with the introduction, but he got distracted. He really is checking out the Beanie Baby, the Patreon Beanie Babies back there. So far, I've saved them all. So, anyway, okay, so Aveeno released several new products with the Calm Oat theme, which are really great. I've tried all of them. Uh, I've really enjoyed them all. This one was my favorite. Really nice. Uh, their cleanser, eh, very gentle, not super effective, better as a second cleanse. But anyway, so, okay. So they say this, instantly soothes skin while fortifying its moisture barrier with Aveeno Common Restore Triple Oat Serum designed for dry, sensitive skin. This gentle facial serum from a dermatologist recommended skincare brand, which doesn't mean anything, FYI. Helps skin look and feel healthier. The hydrating face serum absorbs quickly and leaves skin feeling soothed and hydrated after just one use. In fact, 92% of testers, something else that doesn't mean anything, agreed that after applying the serum, their skin felt instantly smooth. For triple oat power, the serum formulated with triple oat complex, oat flour, oat extract, and oat oil, also formulated with fever few, known to effectively calm irritated dry skin while strengthening the moisture barrier. So I'm going to talk about all that in a minute. Okay. So I will say, I had a first bottle, my friend used it and took it because she liked it so much. So I got another one. So anyway... I really did like it, and she really did like it too. So, okay. So my first criteria is packaging. Um, the packaging for this, I'm not crazy about. The pack, the bottle's clear, so keep it in your cabinet. But the formula of this one's a little thick, in my opinion, for a dropper bottle. It just, um, it's not the easiest way to dispense it because of how thick it is. But overall, it's okay. I'm just not. I, I would have made several changes to this packaging, but anyway, it's good enough. Okay, so my second criteria is denatured or drying types of alcohol, and this does not contain any of those. And it is also fragrance-free, which is great, and it's manufactured in the U.S. So, ease of use. So, like I said a second ago, the dropper bottle is not the most effective way to dispense it, but uh, it is easy to use, so you can apply this uh, morning or evening massage it onto your face and neck and absorbs pretty quickly and sets to a natural non-tacky non-sticky finish which is really nice plays well with other products I didn't have any issues with this pilling with anything I any combination so very nice for that I found I liked using this a bit more in the evening routine I try and keep my morning routine as short and simple as possible I've kind of got it down to a bit of a science but this one did work nicely in my morning routine it just it takes a minute to absorb fully so in my morning routine, I really like to go fast and furious and get it over with. And then at nighttime, I'll spend an hour in the bathroom or more. So otherwise, very easy to use. No issues at all with any of that. Uh, antioxidants and beneficial ingredients in this one. So let me start by saying this is front loaded with a lot of slip ingredients, which are great for hydrating skin. But other than that, they don't do a whole heck of a lot else. Most of the good stuff in this one comes after phenoxethanol, which phenoxethanol is a preservative that can only be used in skincare products in an amount of 1% or less. So whenever you see phenoxethanol in an ingredient list, everything after that is going to be less than 1%. That's just how it works. Unless it's a sunscreen, that's different because they can be, the ingredients on sunscreens can be listed differently. They can be listed alphabetically. But any other skincare product, it has to be listed in order of the amount of each ingredient. So anything after that is going to be not a whole lot. So unfortunately, most of the good ingredients in this one come after that. So we've got feverfew juice, which is a good antioxidant and good for hydrating skin. We've got that oat kernel flour that they mentioned, also good antioxidant soothing, calming, and hydrating. Oat kernel juice, also antioxidant, calming, hydrating, soothing. And then oat kernel extract, which is an antioxidant, hydrating, calming, soothing. So I really do love this serum. But it really, um, it really isn't the most impressive ingredient list. It does what it says it does, though. Calm skin, it definitely does that. So I don't know. I wasn't, I, I would like to see things maybe a little bit more, maybe throw in something else in there that can help calm skin. But... It's a simple ingredient list. So, you know what? If you use this, make sure you use a good routine with other products that contain good beneficial ingredients. So, okay. 
Then we get to my seventh criteria, which is animal testing. And unfortunately, Aveeno is not cruelty free. I have no idea why in 2021, uh, a general skincare brand isn't cruelty free, but I don't know. Okay, in terms of performance, I found this really calmed my skin, really hydrated my skin, especially if my skin was feeling super dry or irritated or itchy or flaky. This one did the trick every time. So I really love this, especially um, this one's great too. So if you didn't see my review of this one, be sure to check it out. But this one is a lifesaver. If your skin is very itchy, sometimes it can be in the winter. This one's a lifesaver too. But this one's probably not best for all over your face. But this one... Uh, did a great job. Um, it does contain a couple acneogenic ingredients, but neither are huge issues. Uh, dimethicone and butylene glycol. Oh no. Lincoln just regurgitated his lunch. <coughs> Why, duty? Oh, sorry guys. Oh, muffin. Oh, I just feel terrible. I'll clean it up in one second. Sorry guys. What's up with that? Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Then we get to the price. So this is the full size, which is one ounce, or I believe 30 milliliters. It retails for about $23, making it pretty affordable. Not super affordable, but still a decent price. I mean, you can still get stuff from the ordinary for half this price, but it's still relatively affordable, and Aveeno is on sale frequently, so... Um, okay, then in terms of the It Factor, I really like this one. Really hydrates my skin, really calms it, soothes it. I wish it had a bit more beneficial ingredients, but I'm very happy it's fragrance and alcohol-free and pretty affordable. So overall, I really enjoy the serum. So I gave it an 8 out of 10. A couple small changes would totally change that, but um, overall, it's still a pretty good serum and affordable, and most people will be able to use this without any issues because it does have a shorter ingredient list, so it's just less chance of sensitivities. So definitely a winner in my book, so I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check this out yet or not, and if you have what your thoughts are, so definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Now I'm off to clean up after Lincoln. Okay, bye guys. Why does he do that after he eats so many so often? I don't know.